Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie. In the last, oh god, in the last episode, we did the gold game and uh, managed to get both a Jiggy and a Cheeto page, as well as doing some other things as well involving just Banjo and or Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, in this episode, I'm actually going to check my totals here because I'm not sure how far along I am in getting everything. Few totals. I got five Jiggies. I've got almost all the Jinjos. I got the one move here. I'm missing two Cheeto pages and... Okay, two Cheeto pages, one Jinjo, and five Jiggies. All right. Uh, let's see. There it is. Oh, you know what? Let's... Uh, I think now would probably be a good time to head to uh, Humba's area. The humbus, the humbest of wumbas. Uh, I'm not going over there. I tried that once before, I almost died, so... Let's not do that, shall we? Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, there's a flight pad over on the blue... Uh, blue, blue mumbo side. Blue mumbo side! The mumbo side. Alright, up, 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 up! Mumbo side is what we kill, use to kill the uh, the stray mumbos in our uh, in our, our living quarters. They're a real pest. All right. Oh, I'm an idiot. I guess I can come back for it, but I you know I'm gonna forget it. I've forgotten Jiggies before, so and I'm gonna forget this. So we're going back in here for the time being. Uh, where was he? Somewhere around here. I think that's him over there. Yep. Yep. We got all Super Stash's numbers using the combination one to nine eight four. You do actually have to hit the buttons in the overworld in order to be able to get it. Not just en not just enter the uh, the combination. Combination is the same every time because it has to do with uh, with rare's history. Oh boy. There's so many things that are trying to check me out at this kiosk here. I just hear the ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. All right, so now we only have four jiggies left to go. See, I, you know, I, I've noticed a lot of people, like, during the, uh, the Grunny Industries portion of this playthrough, a lot of people saying that, um, they dislike Cloud Cuckoo Lane more than Grunny Industries. I think part of the reason I like this level more than Grunny Industries, um, despite the fact that it's probably equally as frustrating, is the aesthetic of it. Like, this this area looks nice. That's part. That's probably part of the reason, uh, uh, honestly. I just realized that, that the, uh, the island I'm on is sitting on a cloud. Alright, there's one thing I needed to do. And that is... oh boy. Talk about repetitive with the uh, with the jiggy challenge. Here's Canary Mary again. Hey Banjo, it's that crazy Canary Woman again. That's me. Now how about another race? Well, the hand card's still down in the mine. Don't worry, you can use this Clockwork Mouse I found instead. Clockwork Mouse? Are you mad? Oh yes. Go on, jump on board and press X as fast as you can uh, to power the uh, give the power mouse the power all along. So I believe this is the same as the race in the mines. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Where, as long as you're kind of like keeping up with her, oh god, maybe not. Maybe you do actually have to mash this as fast as you can. I'm gonna try and stay even with her and overtake her at the last minute. What? Too slow, I think we'll start again. Maybe I do just have to mash this as quickly as possible. Stay on her tail, okay. D yes, I am using a guide for some of these, because, th like I said, for this is a level that I'm completely blind on. See, I don't want to pass her, but I also have to stay close enough to her where she won't be like, yeah, you're too slow, this ain't happening. So you kind of have to be... Because you can't just mash. Like, that's that's not how you win this. It's, a, it, it's, it's, it's strategic. It's timed. It's rubber banding. Although I don't know where the end of this course is, so... That might play a... Oh boy. I think we're coming to the end here. Yeah, 
I beat her! All right! You beat me again. Yep, here's your prize, will suffice. Don't be greedy, Kazooie. We won all our possessions in the mine. Oh no, you didn't. Look what I found up here. <sighs> Look at that zoom! I also found another papery thing. Hop on the mouse if you want to try and win it. Well, it's a Cheeto page, so it's not necessarily necessary for being the game, but 100% completion! Hell yes! Ready? Three, two, one, go. I don't know if this is harder or not. Where, did, where is she? Oh, there she is. I pulled ahead of her. As stated before, you don't want to do that. This actually, I think this race is actually shorter than the Glitter Gulch Mine one. Wait, I don't remember going around the trash can the first time. Oh god, she's pulling ahead. I remember I, I remember watching Krendor do this and he was like mashing as hard as he could, as fast as he could. And it was like And it's like you're 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 just straining yourself here. Don't. But uh my method for any sort of like mashing game is to use a two uh two thumb technique. Where I'll be hitting the button with both fingers alternating. Uh, maybe the Cheeto page race is longer. If we're ending where we started, then uh, it could be. Also, how, how does this clockwork mouse work? Oh yeah, this is definitely longer because we didn't go up here this uh, the last time. All right, let's see. All right, I see Humba's, Humba's hut. And now's the time when I want to pull out all the stops here. Hopefully she doesn't catch up. Oh, God! Woo, that was close! I did that a little bit early. Did I lose? Sure did, lady. Now hand over that papery thing. My last possession. It's a Cheeto page. Well, that's it then. I reckon I'll be off for my dinner. What are you having? A nice worm sandwich and a tasty bag of millet. Mmm, sounds good! How about a third race to let us try and win your, your dinner? Well, no. You'd probably win and then I'd go hungry. You See you around, fellow bird and bear buddy. I like how the clockwork mouse is just total at this point. Oh my god! It's like nose is bent up? That's horrifying. It's a good thing I jumped there. Just get out of here. I haven't even been. That hole is huge. Especially for what the transformation even is. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready. Jump in Wumba pool. It's a bee! Wumba called this B. Press A to jump and A again to fly through the air. Use left stick to steer and press A to fly higher. Also press LT or RT for stinger attack. Uh, you need pollinating? There's one thing about the B that she doesn't tell you. Um, so the controls of the B are identical aside from the ability to shoot stingers. I think you can do it in first person as well. Yes, you can. All right. Uh, there's one thing that they neglected to tell you, and that's if you hold B, you, you, uh, you go faster on the vertical plane. Now, the first thing to do is the B. If I could find one of them. Because actually being the B, like, hearing that sound reminded me of it. Where the hell did it go? There it is, down there, okay. Quick, you fool! Pass the, pass the jiggy on! So yes, the 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 way you're able to beat those flowers is to uh, hit them with the bee. You can't hit them with eggs. You have to be the bee. What haven't I been to yet as the bear and the bird? Oh, I still need to go to the jelly castle as Banjo. Uh, there it is. Actually, oh, I, I don't think I can do them out of order. I, I think I might be able to do them out of order, but I don't want to. There it is. There we go. Pass that jiggy on. 
to one further up the cliff. So I will be probably ending this level as Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, I wish I could... Uh, I, I tried to direct the camera down, but I couldn't do it, so... I think it's up here? Is that it? Yeah, it's on the other side, I think. I don't know, is that it over the... Is it over here? Yeah, there it is. And one flower left! I don't know where that is. It's a purple cliff, though. I think it's still kind of on this area around here. I just don't know where. Well, I heard it before, so... Oh! Is this it over here? Yep, there it is. Like I said, I don't remember if the order matters from when you do it. My rare eyeball, uh, eyeball is jiggy implants. You've killed them all. And now we can get a thing. A thing? We can get a jiggy now. I'm a little, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, bee, bee. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, bee, bee. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, bee, bee. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, bee, bee. All right, next thing we gotta do. Come up here, it's Zubba time. If I think about the Cheeto pages in this level, they're all related to uh, beating various parts of the level. Okay. So, you gotta get into Zubba's area. The way you do that, I wanna try and line up perfectly with this because this is a little bit dodgy to get. Dodgy to say the least. So I'm gonna fly out a little bit further here and then turn around. All right, so that's despawned. There it is. All right, so can I hit it from here? Maybe not. Oh God. Now shoot this lots of times. Oh God. Yes. Nice zooting. Why not come inside? Zubbas? Oh, the Zubbas are being creepy. I'd be in first person because I could see more of my surroundings. Oh, oh. Greetings. As you can see, we Zubbas have a new nest to celebrate. We've arranged a little zooting game. If you score 40 points or more, give you a prize. Manage to beat 50 points, and then there's an extra special prize for you. Do you need any instructions? No, it's the same thing we've already known. Red's worth one, green's worth two, blue's worth three. I think I just stand in the center and... Oh no, but my shooting is slower then. So pretty much... I gotta be constantly shooting. All the time shooting. This is a pretty easy game, especially if you can get some of the bigger, uh... The bigger prizes of, uh, of bees. Yeah, 50 is gonna be no problem, it's assuming I can find any more bees. Oh, there's one! 43, I got 20 seconds left. This, this, this game is absolutely no problem. I would be shocked if anybody had trouble with this, with this mini game. Maybe like if they're not very good at aiming, but you can just kind of like glance by some of these and you'll shoot them. Like you aim in their general direction and they'll be hit. Whoa, that scared the hell out of me. Nice shooting, you scored enough to win second prize. I was scored enough to win the first prize, bitch! Amazing! You also got enough to win first prize, too. Yay! Well, hey! Uh... There's... Okay, there's... Well, let me go back to the third person. There's second prize. Which... Oh. Damn it! Damn it, being a bee is hard!
All right, we got that. Where's the jiggy? There's the jiggy. At least it gets a wall, so I can at least, like, fly into the wall to land. Or not. Oh, oh! Damn it! Uh, this is even harder than the N64. Yeah! Do you want to play again? They just boot me out. Okay. How many jiggies do we have? We have 86. I'm not entirely sure what jiggies I'm missing at this point. Uh, I don't think I need the B anymore. I'm trying to think, there's the Jelly Castle? Oh man, what other jiggies am I missing? I got the one in the Wedge of Cheese. Jelly Castle's the only one I can think of. Maybe that's it. Probably easier if I check my totals, but meh. I think I've also done all the setup for the other stuff as well. I think. Yeah, actually. There's only two, ow, two jiggies outside as I can think of. Also, the last Jinjo, it's in here. And blue was the last family I completed. Oh god, oh god! Oh boy. I'll be dealing with this for a little while here. There we go. The blue Jinjo family is complete. They'd like you to have this. Turn me back, turn me back inside. All right. One j son of a bitch. You fall in there just a little bit. Yeah. Turn back. All right. Uh, I wish, I wish to go back now. Please. You hear that, that noise, that, that, uh, oh so, that. It's a good noise. It's a good noise to make. All right, I'm going to try and find a fly pad and see if I could find out how Banjo's supposed to get to the jelly castle. And then from there, I'll, pr I will be done with this level. This level's been nothing but enjoyable, you know, except for this cave. The only thing that hasn't been enjoyable are these enemies. I hate these enemies. I was afraid the Canary Mary thing was gonna be, like, super difficult, but it's... it's a joy. Also, I had that thing telling me that... oh, wait, no. Hang on, come here. There we go. I have to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Also, I was using a guide. Uh, for, for some of this, because like I said, this is a level I'm not uh, entirely familiar with. So yeah, that was, uh... How I was able to get, uh, past Canary Mary there. Well, I, I mean, like, I was right, though. I figured it, it had to, it was the same thing as, like, the, uh, the mine, though. So it wasn't really helping? I don't know, I'm trying to justify this, but, yeah, it's, it's... Unjustifiable. Oh, boy! Hell, there it is! Do I just get to there from... The blue side? It could be it. I could be overcomplicating this. I feel like there's so much left to do in this level, but I'm almost done. Oh, yeah, no, it's up. Okay, the flower fort is up there. All right, let me turn the banjo then. Turn into banjo. I mean, be just banjo. Ow! Stop that! I see like a big quiet spot on here, and I'm kind of afraid of what that is. It, oh, you know what? That big quiet spot. Is, uh, I'm looking at my my waveforms uh, for the the recording. That big uh, <laughs> that's that uh, that quiet spot is when I was doing the uh, the egg game. Son of a bitch! All right, Banjo, do the safest thing possible and sleep in the doorway. Snore, whistle. Snore, whistle. Yeah, alrighty. Hello? Jump up, 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 up. Jump up, 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 up. Woo! I think we go in here to get to the Jelly Castle. Yep! That's convenient that they don't, that they don't play a long cutscene. I wonder if they did that in the uh, N64 version, where it's like, Okay, you've been here for the first time, now it doesn't matter anymore. And I think, I'm pretty sure that's the last Jiggy of this world. 
So let me just leave here, we'll check our totals, and then we'll end this uh, episode. Excuse me, end this episode off. Uh, view totals? That's everything. All right. Dang. So in the next episode, I'm thinking we're going to get the last remaining things that we haven't gotten yet. Particularly the one Jiggy and Grunty Industries, the one Cheeto Page in Pterodactyl Land, and the uh, one Jiggy and Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Aside from that, everything else is completed, including the Isle of Hags. We'll also be getting, uh, all the, we'll also be getting the, the rest of Cheeto's codes and that one remaining health thing that we missed. So, I'll see you- OW! Revenge, baby. Even though I'm gonna kill myself anyway. I will see you all then! Later! Ah! Ow!